from Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina, this is Daily Prayer with Pastor Lance for Friday, February 12th, 2021. There was a popular book a couple of decades back called Active God, Act of God, which is a clever name. Uh, I like it. It speaks about God that actually does something and not just kind of passively sits up there in the heavens doing nothing. It's about, a, you know, talks about the one true God who created the heavens and earth and has sanctified us by the death of his son and, uh, you know, still is active in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, all those sorts of things. So it was a clever title, and one of the things I like about reading the Psalms is the Psalms have uh, declare that God is indeed active. I'll tell you more about that after we hear this from Psalm 50. A reading from Psalm chapter 50, verses 1 through 6. A song of Asaph, the mighty one, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and does not keep silence before him in a devouring fire and a mighty tempest all around him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. That was just the first six verses of Psalm 50. It's a good one. They're all good. But uh, two items of note before I go into further explanation. One, it says it starts off, it's a Psalm of Asaph. Asaph was a man in King David's court who was a song and worship leader. So either when it says a, song of, a Psalm of Asaph, either he wrote this one himself or it's written in his style. Uh, I like the former idea rather. The other thing is, you'll see often at the end of a psalm, the word Salah. And let me tell you what Salah means. No one knows. Yeah, that's right. It's probably some instruction to the worship leader or to the musicians, uh, but it frequently, a psalm will you know, frequently have the word Salah at the end of it. But I've said before, you know, a, a psalm generally uh, can be read in a minute or two, uh, but to actually live out a psalm, uh, that one, that takes years of a person's life. You know, you think about uh, so many of the psalms and it's somebody calling in distress, and we don't have the passage of time to mark or anything like that, just suddenly the next verse starts after it's talked about, you know, I'm, pry I'm praying out to you, oh God, you know, don't leave me like this. And then it simply will say in the next line, and you heard my voice, and you already sorted stuff out. Praise be to you. Well, that, that getting sorted out, the, the starting point and the finishing point are there. They're there in God. What's that middle point? And that, all that middle stuff is, well, that's life. That's life. You know, we, we start off desperate for God's help and we'll often go many years without knowing, is God at work in all this? And then at the end, we say, yeah, yeah, God is. So the notion that uh, God is active and involved and ongoing, uh, not just snapping fingers and waving wands and solve, solving all of our issues, no, no, God's there side by side and is, has dominion over it all. There's probably no greater, we feel that very much when we pray for something and then it gets delivered and we see an answer to our prayer. It's one of those just, you know, God's answering all of our prayers all the time, but sometimes we don't even know what we're praying for. God's providing answers. This prayer is the prayer for 
the answer to prayer. Uh, when you've had those moments, they are joyous and pure, and nothing builds the faith more greatly than that. So let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time to make our common prayer to you. And you have promised through your Son that where two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may best for us, may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Linda Griffith, we thank you for being our guest lecture this week. And for all of our viewers, we thank you for watching. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to this channel.